Hello and welcome to the Krusty Couch Halloween special. Three out of four or something like that. <laughs> Editor, insert stock woman screaming. That was hello. great. Hello. That was hello. so scary. Yes. Hello, hello. Screeching scariness. Good to hear. Spiders on the walls. Spiders in my balls. Oh, God. <laughs> you um, should really go to the doctor. And see unhealthy. <laughs> <laughs> wait okay before we begin the show have you ever had a spider or like a, a, a pet spider anyone in the crowd has had a pet spider anyone uh, leave us a comment um leave us a, I, leave us a spider comment spidery comment but i'm asking you <laughs> noah no i i haven't um okay Do you, have you ever named like a little house spider as your pet um yeah i had a spider named jeremy in my old apartment it was he was killing all the flies for us yeah yeah mm -hmm. that's what i'm talking about so yeah. it's it's getting colder out here in california 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 night. the best yeah, state of the whole fucking planet yeah you know <laughs> <laughs> and uh there's starting to uh, be a lot of ants in my bathroom mm -hmm. so i really don't like ants i mean they, they don't they don't bother me you know but it's like it looks gross. Yeah. And I typically don't want ants in my bathroom, you know, that's, that's or anywhere fair. in the house. That's fair. So uh, I was like, damn, uh, that sucks. And uh, uh, here comes a little itsy bitsy spider coming up the water spout and into my <laughs> bathroom, too. Uh -huh. And it, it just hangs in the corner. Right. Mm -hmm. It's chilling out. It's like a little baby spider. It was a little baby, little baby booba. Yeah. Little, yeah. little schmoochy. <laughs> and uh it, at the beginning of the month it was so tiny and now that it's towards the end of the month that thing got huge it's Jesus. like it's like a it's like an inch inch oh in diameter God. that's crazy it's a big ass spider now yeah. and i'm like oh what a little what a cool little fella how'd it get like that <laughs> how'd it get so big and i look in his little web and i see a bunch of like black specks and i'm like huh oh what my god those? And it turns out it's all of like the, the ants. Like this, this monster has been cleaning up all the ants in my bathroom. What a Chad! What a Chad! But your dude, eventually, like he's just gonna not stop growing. And then you have like, you, then you just have a giant spider, like Billy from Billy and Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! I gotta get the big boot. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a classic. It is. Yeah, yeah. It's a good time. Yeah, but I, I mean. I hope it sticks around for a while because I, I really don't want ants in my bathroom. But I don't know the lifespan yeah, of spiders, so I don't know either. I think they only live for a couple of months or something. Well, they, a couple of months leave. is all you need them for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. It's true. It's true. And they depart yeah. this earth. So, how's your uh, Halloween spirit uh, going? Is it is it high up in the air? Have you seen uh, Halloween Kills? I don't want to be that person, but it's time you get a job. How long are you going to be doing this? You've been doing this since J.F. Kennedy was president. Be quiet, because I'm not trying to be on the run. But can't nobody go against you. How long? You, you just doing this for fun. I was on YouTube, and your face pop up. I jump. I said, he doing this again? At this one, you, you need to just be normal. Switch it up. Getting a job would scare me more. If you really want to scare me, get a job. Sister is 59. You've been terrorizing her since forever. She fit. That lady almost 70 and she's still fine. You just you shouldn't be fine when you almost 90. Michael. So yes, I have <laughs> I have seen Halloween kills. <laughs> what was that? And that so, was, go ahead. I want that, that was my exact reaction to watching that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Michael it didn't Myers, scare you at all. <laughs> you doing this again? <laughs> <laughs> you're like 90 years old michael what are you doing get a at this, job at this point you getting a job would be scarier <laughs> um yeah, yeah i like I, it i'm assuming no halloween kills was fucking terrible it was so bad like it was one of the worst halloween sequels because like it, it is just has that attitude of just like it's been 40 fucking years and this town hasn't moved on from what Michael Myers did 40 years ago. <laughs> like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it was, it was very like fan servicey, but in like a star Wars kind of way where it was like, Oh, this is embarrassing. You know? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, okay. 
Where at least with Star Wars, it's like a billion dollar franchise with like deep lore. But in this mm-hmm. one, it's like, hey, remember the nurse from the first movie? She's back. <laughs> like, uh, I get it. Know, uh, it was it was so embarrassingly bad. Did they had did they have a whole scene dedicated to the mask, like him putting it on or something? They always do. They always do. Yeah. Even though you saw that like three years ago when he did. Yeah, it again. it's all covered in dirt or something, and he picks it up. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. They always <sighs> do that shit. They do always do that shit. And then while he's picking it up, is it doing the? <laughs> this it's a new theme though. This time it's it's the same it's the same keys, but it's more epic. Oh yeah, yeah. Do they just like have a violin and playing in the background? It, it, it's, it's like it's like. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> yeah. Doing the inception on it. Yeah, yeah. Pretty okay. much. It's, it's a very like. Like if John Carpenter is hitting the fucking piano chord with a hammer instead of just yeah. pressing it with his finger. Very nice. Very um, nice. Well, a shame, shame, shame. That sucks. I have some, I have a pretty horrific series, too. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. It's a pretty recent one. I think everybody knows this series. It's, it's been the, the town, the, the corn of the crop. The, the for, talk of the town. Yeah. Talk of the town. Uh, this whole month, it's uh, Squid Games. Have you seen it? I have seen Squid Game. Yeah, yeah. Um, I uh, I just finished it actually today. So I have I some like, opinions on it. Okay, I don't know if we should talk about it because it's like a Halloween episode. We got other plans for this episode, but I mean, it's it's pretty relevant to the month. Yeah, yeah. So it is before. kind of a horror thing. We can briefly talk about it. Sure. Like just talk, talk about it really quick. On before it. Yeah. Get, yeah. Before we get into the nitty gritty of today's episode. Yeah. What did okay. you think of Squid Game? Uh, It, it was OK. It was all right. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think it was amazing. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think it's like amazing, but it, it was it was a fun ride. Not too bad. It was. Oh, well. To me, it was very much like it had the potential to be much more interesting than it was. I guess somewhat spoilers, but like when Squid Game established a main character, it kind of ruined all tension for me where I'm like, well, I know he's going to make it. Squid Game Hmm. never does anything challenging to me uh, compared to other like other things in that very genre of like dystopian survival games type stuff. And Mm -hmm. for a Korean thing with that concept, to me, it just felt very like lackluster in some parts. I was very entertained by it. I I, like I binged the whole thing in like two days. So it it must have done. It must have done something right. Yeah. Where I was just like, oh, I'll watch the next episode. Okay, I'll watch the next episode. And it's suddenly like 6 (laughs) a.m. Like, yeah. um, So I'm, I'm not trying to say that it was bad. I just didn't feel like it was it lived up to. The potential that it had yeah i mean i I liked it uh i thought it was all right i don't know i don't know why (laughs) i don't know why i got like so much praise per se but it was all right like it's okay i think it's just because that like like you and i we seek things like this out like a darker type of story and most people don't so when they do kind of stumble across it and when they do come across something like this, it's genuinely really surprising and new and refreshing to people mm-hmm. because Squid Game isn't really like anything Netflix has put out before, you know? Yeah. So when people are exposed to that kind of thing, you know, it's it's really refreshing to them unless they watched the the dubbed version and then they just fucking laugh the entire time <laughs> because of how oh, dude, horrific dumb- it is. I did see some of the dub. It's so different and sounds shit shitty. Yeah, it's it's really bad. If if you haven't seen Squid Game for whatever reason and you're holding off on it, you should just watch the subtitled version. I promise yeah. you that reading it is way better than hearing it. Um, but I don't want to read. Hey, what Can't the do fuck it. you think this is? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I'd rather hear fucking terrible American voice actors do it. Yeah. That's be ex- right. Be exposed to another language. Fuck that. You were good. <laughs> <laughs> the performance was good. Everything was pretty good. It's just every everybody, all of the actors, aside from the American ones, were really good. Like yeah. 
everybody was giving it their a game the soundtrack was good how the show looked was really good too i just have some like fundamental issues with it but i mean we can we can go about that a little bit later i guess um Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i don't want to say it's my favorite show or anything Mm -hmm. like that but it was it was it was good yeah it was good enough keep kept me entertained kept wanting to see what the next game was and stuff like that so i'll give it like a seven yeah that's exactly what i was gonna say like a six or a seven yeah out of ten yeah that is not the focus of today's episode so in the last two weeks we had been ranking our tier list of like the best horror movie franchises you know the definitive and final list all others that we didn't mention were instantly deleted so um, mm-hmm. not even worth talking about them. But this week, we're going to do a kind of survival scenario of if one of these people from these horror franchises was coming after you, what would you do? You know, how fucked are you in a sense? So we're going to go across the list one more time and kind of talk about each individual character and um, give our some survival scenarios. That's right. Welcome to Survive That Bitch and <laughs> Screaming Woman again. God, it's scary, it's scary even the second time. Scary even the second time. Yeah. <laughs> Spooky. I'm stoked. My adrenaline is pumping. Yeah. All right. Let's see. So we'll discuss, you know, whichever ones. I uh, We're <laughs> definitely not going to get through the entire list so we'll just i don't know we'll pick our favorites i guess yeah we'll, we'll cherry we'll pick here and there because some of them are boring like cujo just fucking shoot them <laughs> yeah. yeah well i mean it has to be it has to be no 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 <laughs> we have to be like in the confines of the the movie right oh so if if we were in the movie ourselves yeah let, let's let's put ourselves in their shoes and see like how would i have gotten out of that what could okay. i have done all right, because all right. because otherwise I could be like, yeah, I'm just gonna bring a fucking gun every time. Yeah, like that, that's <laughs> easy. You can't gun. do that. <laughs> you can't do that. Okay. All right. All right. So let's see. What do you? What would you like to start with? Do you want to go right. from like the F ranks to the S ranks or S, S to the Fs? Where, no, we could just we could just pick and choose random ones like we did last time. Okay, um, that's fine. So I'm gonna go with what I think is the easiest one, mm-hmm. and that would be Pennywise. <laughs> I think Pennywise would be such a fucking easy way to go, like to survive if they were if he was coming after you. Really? Because he's one of those monsters where not only is he not effective, but you weaken him by not being afraid of him. And I am not afraid of clowns. I've never been afraid of clowns. And Mm -hmm. this motherfucker got bullied to death. I mean, spoilers for it chapter two, but he got fucking roasted to death, bro. Like what kind of fucking horror movie villain does that? You you can't roast Jason Voorhees to death. You rip your tongue out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Pennywise mm-hmm. literally got roasted by a motherfucker by fucking Bill Hader, dude. Fucking <laughs> Bill died. Hader, dude. If you're and getting died. roasted by Bill Hader, like you're pathetic. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you seen Bill Hader? Yeah, he's great. Yeah, he's a cool guy. Yeah, I, I love yeah. you, Bill Hader. <laughs> Sign me up. Come up, come come on our show, please. <laughs> on the off chance he sees this, <laughs> he's, he's just like, gonna come on. He's gonna come on the fucking show and wipe the floor with us. He's like, "Oh my god, I love the crusty couch." <laughs> <laughs> Been watching it for for years. You know those six viewers you get? I'm one of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, solid, yeah. solid. Um, uh, yeah, dude. Honestly, if I was, yeah, I'd, I'd fucking mop the floor with it. To be honest, <laughs> I used to fucking, I used to, uh, I used to be a really huge uh trash talker when i was younger mm-hmm. so and i i mean like it was like a day on a daily basis just talking trash and stuff P- plus i didn't ever really think cl- clowns are scary yeah i don't really see it i'm more afraid of like porcelain dolls so if you put me in like a dead silence situation oh, you're okay. fucked. yeah yeah maybe i'll be fucked there but in this case like i uh growing up as a hispanic like i look at clowns i'm like okay that's the funny man you know like he's supposed <laughs> to be the funny guy yeah it's just, it's in, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's in, it's in. yeah it's like it, r.i.p it's yeah it's not yeah r.i.p no not threatening at all so yeah just bully him yeah and it's just like i like 
horror movies that have consistent rules. So as we go along this tier list, we'll see which horror movies just have fucking horrible rules. But anyways, with Pennywise, yeah. it's established like in the movies that we've seen that he's actually really fucking bad at eating his victims. Like the amount of times that he terrorizes these kids and then just doesn't do anything afterwards i'm like you're just blowing your shot eventually they're gonna grow numb to you and not be scared of you anymore like what the mm-hmm. fuck are you doing how how have you been doing this for five thousand years and you're still so terrible at it he's he's bored dude that's what he's got to do he's got nothing else to do he's got no 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 it woman in there <laughs> he's got no time or I'm, rather he is he has all the time he's got nothing to do he's just yeah, he's, he's a virgin in, you see he's in, he, see that's the thing he's that's why he sucks bro you think you think fucking you think wait what? he's an incel i got it oh my god he is now we can name this uh this title of the episode something related to incel and we'll get 100 views or so again <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be nothing but people downvoting us. Again. <laughs> How dare you call us in shells? <laughs> you fucking trick me again, crusty couch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think that Pennywise is probably one of the easiest ones to survive. Uh, it's a if joke. If they were coming after you, if you're if you're scared of clowns, then well, there's nothing. Okay. Can, nothing we can do to help you. What if you were in the situation where uh, when the kids were in the sewer, right? Like in his domain. Yeah, in his domain, how would you fight that? Let's say you weren't with your. With, okay, I, no, I, I, I gotta make it even. Let's say you were with. Let's say it was just you and I, in mm-hmm. the sewers. Mm-hmm. We're making out, fucking. <laughs> then, we, then we hear a, a squeak in the distance. You know, uh huh. And he comes out of the shadows, and or you see a balloon just floating down the the uh, the sewer. <laughs> okay. Right? While we're fucking. Okay. <laughs> like, what are you gonna do? I, I don't Would know. Would you investigate? Would you investigate the balloon? Um, no, honestly, I wouldn't. I don't think I would. I'd just be like, that's a weird balloon. <laughs> what? Stick, stick your tongue in my mouth. <laughs> it doesn't just go back to fucking. <laughs> yeah. It I mean, appears. I... <laughs> it appears. And hey, um, you guys are supposed to be scared. <laughs> 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 there's this weird fucking pervert clown watching us get the fuck out of here you freak he starts shrinking yeah we just be roasting him because we're just like oh you fucking weirdo yeah <laughs> you see your cog dude how big is your dick it's not as big just, as he just shrinks even further yeah see that, that's the thing he's so sensitive he's a little fucking snowflake like he like he yeah. wouldn't be able to handle it. like i'm like oh my god it's an ugly clown he goes what and then he's yeah. just slow <laughs> oh my god it's no way oh wait, it's a clown <laughs> and then we both start shrinking yeah <laughs> yeah so i i personally think that pennywise would be the easiest there's no way to paint it because if you're yeah. not afraid of him, he's not effective. Yeah, fair enough. I think he'd be pretty, pretty simple to, to yeah. get over. Yeah. Okay, I think that's that. Unless you have another argument for him as to like how you could lose. Okay, Go so ahead. here. Okay, so in because inevitably people are going to bring this up in the book. He is not just a clown. He mm-hmm. can transform into other things like a werewolf or a leopard. Oh yes, or something. That's right. So I would, to be fair. At first, yes, he would be pretty scary. And like, if he came up to me, I don't even know what I'm afraid of. If he came up to me, I don't know, as my dad or something. <laughs> <laughs> Belly man. <laughs> no way. That, like that, that would be terrifying, you know? But then, but then he always, he always reveals that it was the clown the whole time. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm going just based off of the logic of the films. I didn't read that stupid ass book. I didn't, I, I'm not going to read it. I get pussy, you know. It's a lot more. I get pussy. <laughs> get laid, dude. I'm too um, busy getting laid, bro. It's it's it's. There's a lot of like uh, mythology stuff yeah. in the book. Yeah. But yeah, it's but, um, pretty pretty much one for one. So yeah, we're going just based off the logic of the films, and he always reveals the, that he's the clown at the end. So I would be scared, yeah. and then once I saw that it was him, I'm like, that's ah, just this busted ass clown. <laughs> <laughs> And then he'd just go back to being scared. Yeah, that's true. It's true. So, yeah. It's true. If he appeared um, before me as like a pregnant girl, ah! <laughs> yeah, that'd be my horror. 
<laughs> or just as as your son as my son ah, no! <laughs> just kick him in the head yeah you can dead light me right then and there <laughs> I'd, be lo- I'd lose <laughs> <laughs> he just show, shows up as a as a form to pay your child support like he's a piece of paper yeah this is a kid crawling across the floor from from like the lunch table or something Papa, it's me, Papa. <laughs> no! it's me paulo pa- paulo <laughs> <laughs> all right. right besides that i mean i don't really have any fears unless you can somehow turn into heights i don't know i can do that <laughs> you can turn in if you can like turn into heights i don't know but see i, I don't i don't know how that would happen because it'd be like what i go on I go up on a ladder or something i look down and the air yeah. turns into a clown like i don't you know? yeah yeah that's true <laughs> <laughs> like, i don't know how he's gonna do that so All so right. maybe someone can argue that for me i don't know maybe maybe i go on a, you know what maybe i go on a hot air balloon ride Mm-hmm. And as I'm floating up into the sky, I, I start to say, I start, I start to say to the man, "Mister, I'm scared. Can you please put us down?" <laughs> and the the guy just turns around and goes, uh, "We are float up here." And I go, "Well, yeah, I know. We're on a hot air balloon." <laughs> he goes, "Yeah, but we are float." And I'm like, "Yes, sir. I know, but please put me down. I paid you good money." Right? <laughs> and then See, the and, the, and then our hot air balloon turns into a big red balloon, right? <laughs> See, but again, but again, the minute he reveals that it's the clown, you just go, bitch ass Pennywise, put me down right now. I'm fucking sick of this shit. And he's like, well, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're just so used to it. By now. <laughs> Pennywise, God damn it. Put us down. Damn. <laughs> damn. Go back to the sewer where you blow. I'm sick of your shit. <laughs> Every fucking day with this shit. <laughs> Get a job. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Get a fucking job. <laughs> okay, so uh, so you know we'll we'll put Pennywise in the F tier because I I don't think that he would fucking do anything against you really. All right, so who's mm-hmm. next? Who who you got Penny, next? Pennywise, more like get pennies. <laughs> <laughs> Get a job. Anyway, get her done. Get her done. Uh, all right. okay. All right, all right. That was. Good start, good start. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna put a uh, how would uh, let's say the Baba Duke. How would you escape the Baba Duke? Let's say you were in the position of the mama, right? Mm-hmm. You uh, uh, no, wait. Who's haunted more, the kid or the mom? I think it's the mom, right? The mom, definitely, because it's well, like her yeah, monster lore, whatever. But uh, okay, <laughs> but in terms. I'm talking mm-hmm. to more of like the 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 haunt scenes. Was it usually the kid or the mom that was, it was haunted? It was more so the mom. Okay. It was more so. All the right. Mom, definitely. So let's say you were the mom, right? Mm-hmm. And you're seeing this fucking. You read this book. I don't know why you would read the book. Honestly, it looks like <laughs> it's like just looking at the book. You're like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. It just Especially if you just first. found it randomly. Like, what yeah. the hell? Are, why would you read that? You White know? people, dude. White people. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> just want to do yeah they they love to explore um okay you pick up this scary fucking book that you've never seen before in your life never mm-hmm. seen it in your house you pick it up and you go yeah i'm gonna read this to my son f- for whatever reason <laughs> and you you read it and it starts haunting you right mm-hmm. and you start seeing this like shadowy figure uh in your ceiling and stuff and you start hearing the thumps what would you do? I mean, I don't know because the Baba Duke is like supernatural, right? And yeah, the film doesn't establish any rules to him or mm-hmm. them. At least I don't think. Um, no, I don't. I don't think so. It just he, says maybe he just appears. Falling. Maybe he just appears when you're sad or something. But um, yeah, I don't know if we should talk about that because that's lore related. <laughs> You know what? Fuck all y'all. It, it, spoilers. I'm just going to every time we are going to get into something, we're going to say spoilers. And if you don't want to hear how he how we would want to solve it, then skip on. Yeah. <laughs> Simple as that, because this would be really hard to tiptoe across everything. Yeah. If we're trying to solve this shit. Yeah. All right. So just FYI. OK, so let's say you know what it is. You know, it's your mm-hmm. depression. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. because you uh, i don't know let's say let's say i died you started being depressed yeah i'm your husband 
<laughs> and I died. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. I gave you one last fuck and I died. <laughs> okay. That that seed I provided <laughs> sp- <laughs> spawned that <laughs> that demon. Wait, pa- are you sure that this episode isn't just like a way for you to do like your fan fiction? <laughs> <laughs> Buy it now. Um <laughs> Okay, so you, you you find out that it's it's depression and all that, and it's it's been haunting you. Um, how would you get over it? How would you like? What's the easiest way to beat it? I guess. Well, I mean, if since we're going down that route now, it would it would just be like finding the root cause of it. You know, like what is mm-hmm. making you so upset that it's manifesting itself into a a goth demon man. <laughs> um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so that would kind of be the first step, just being like, all right, so I have father issues and (laughs) (laughs) that would be, that would be it. Like the kind of stamping out the, (laughs) stamping out. Well, that's it then. (laughs) He just fizzles. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That'd be great. That'd be pretty easy. (laughs) Just give him some McDonald's Sprite and he's done for, bro. It's like on the back of the book. It just says like, oh, by the way, rule number one, it's your depression or something. (laughs) Oh, okay. Cool. (laughs) Find out why you're sad and he dies. (laughs) It's like the first, the the last thing in the book. And you go, hey, thanks, Baba Duke. You really helped me heal there. (laughs) Yeah. You were a good guy all along. <laughs> and then it's it's him, like, you see him in silhouetted in the sun or in the sky, and he winks. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> gives you thumbs up. Yeah. Um, no, but in all seriousness, yeah, like, that would be the solution. I think the Babadook is scarier if you don't know why he's coming at you. Like, oh, that's yeah, what, absolutely. That's what makes him so effective is the whole journey of the mom figuring out why the fuck she's being tormented by this guy. Yeah, um, no, absolutely. <laughs> but, um, in, in all honesty, if you were against the Baba Duke, I don't think you would figure it out. I, I don't not. think I would. Yeah, I don't think I would. Probably not. It'd be like haunting me and shit, and you know, kids screaming in my face all day. I'd be <laughs> mega anxious and pissed. And wait, so in this scenario, are you just the mom? Are you not you? Like, yeah, you're, you're the mom. Me- <laughs> no, you're the mom. <laughs> so I'm like, wait, where did the kid come from? <laughs> <laughs> that's just no. something you're not telling no, you're, me you're the kid in this one i mean you're the mom in this one yeah yeah so uh, like all that i honestly wouldn't figure it out i'd, I'd be like leave me the fuck alone <laughs> yeah and yeah. then it would it would eventually eat me um because i i wouldn't know that i'd have daddy issues or whatever yeah. <laughs> do, do you think that he would just eat you or eventually he'd get so, just so tired of you that he'd just tell you god damn it lady please he's like lady it's been like 15 years how have you not figured it out yet <laughs> go get some help go get, damn bitch you need a therapist <laughs> I, I mean i would hope so if he's part of my self-conscious or whatever i you know i would hope so he's that he's that part of you that's like maybe you shouldn't have that other drink <laughs> yeah yeah oh um, is he like a is he like a guardian angel then at that point <laughs> we're just completely changing the character of the Papa Duke. this is the real nitty-gritty dude we're a lore channel now <laughs> yeah here's why the Papa Duke is actually an allegory for alcoholism the whole time <laughs> <laughs> you know you know people come up with this shit all on, on the Welcome daily to film theory that's a thing right film theory yes yes game theory guy went to film theory and yeah. all, all this other shit quantum here's, theory here's why luigi was dead the whole time in luigi's mansion yeah you, there's ghosts you can't see ghosts if you're alive <laughs> <laughs> that's so stupid <laughs> <laughs> it's just a theory anyways yeah. um yeah, so figuring out the Babadook would would be pretty hard. But again, like with Pennywise, once you figure it out, it's ineffective. Okay, not going to lie. If I didn't know what was causing the Babadook to haunt me, mm-hmm. and he was haunting me for my whole life without killing me, I'd probably succumb to alcoholism and beat him that way. Just saying. <laughs> Just take him with you? If, fuck yeah. That's, How's he gonna fair. beat me if I'm drunk? <laughs> hey, you give me the fucking beer. 
<laughs> and then yeah, and then that's that's what it, it would be an excuse <laughs> to just get out and fucking drunk. You people think... would ask, like, "Hey man, what's you okay? Like you shouldn't be drinking that much." I'm like, shut up, and the breath get you see. <laughs> shut the fuck the up, Babadook. Look at the thing that's following me. Yeah. <laughs> the the Duke's in the back, but he's like, you think he'd be like concerned for you at a certain point? He's oh, like, no, he'd hey. be he'd be having a beard too. <laughs> he's like, hey man, I get it. You know, it's it's hard. <laughs> All right, so to to wrap things up, we didn't really talk about surviving the body. I don't, Duke. I don't think you can. I don't. I honestly no. don't think you can unless you really somehow figure out that it's your depression. Like how many pe- how many people not directed by a script would figure out that it's your fucking depression the whole that's time? That's pretty. That's pretty. Not even just like general depression, but just a moment of grief that yeah. caused this for you. Because in the movie, it was spoilers: her husband dying um yes that's what caused it but it would be so hard for ordinary people to pinpoint the exact moment that caused you to spiral into like a depression or into a depressive episode so that it would spawn the babadook so you are right in that what did just magic hmm? Mm -hmm. i was like what did just magically go away if like i just wasn't depressed anymore like even if i didn't know that was how to beat it would it just I would okay. say so. Yeah. Okay. So maybe I, I saw it. Please stop. <laughs> yeah. So it's either one of like two things. Either I, I become alcoholic because I can't beat it <laughs> and I just drown it out or I, I, I just accidentally beat it one day. I don't know. <laughs> you decide like, you know, maybe I should go to therapy and then you hear. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I could not for the life of me. What I would not be able to figure it out that it was my depression. Yeah. Cause I would just think it's a fucking creepy ass, like ghost thing following me. I, I would just think I'm haunted. I wouldn't think it'd be depression. You know, that is true. That is so, true. I don't know. So I guess similarly to because in case people say like, well, you wouldn't be able to figure out Pennywise. I'm like, yeah, you would, because he always turns back into the fucking clown. With the yeah. Baba Duke, you don't. He doesn't have like a form that he goes back to, and yeah, he's always just the Baba Duke. It's not it's not even like something you fear. It's just like you like you as like your your own brain, <laughs> essentially. Yeah. yeah. So I would say the Babadook would be harder to kind of figure out. God. But the minute you do, it's it's done. Oh, yeah. The minute you figure it out, that's it's a cakewalk. Yeah. Just go get therapy. Good to go. <laughs> just go get the bitch. Get a job. <laughs> get a job. I, All right, he's a little, uh, he's more difficult than it, I would say. Oh, definitely, much more difficult. Yeah, much more difficult yeah. to escape. But if you figure out that it's your depression, you're in the gold. But the yeah. the chances that you would figure out it's your depression, I, I it's kind of slim. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, depending on the person, obviously, people that yeah. are more emotionally mature could probably figure it out. But perhaps someone, someone like me, I'd be like, I don't know why the fuck he's coming after me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what well, what would you rate him in terms of uh escapability then? I would put him like a B. B? A okay. It's so yeah. a B tier as yeah. in like it's 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 hard to escape from him. Yeah, definitely. Like B-tier. it'd be really okay. hard, really hard. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> that the right word, escapability, or should we I don't know. Survivability. Survivability? Yeah. Ah. Ah, you guys get the drift. Okay. <laughs> All right. So next up, let's do Freddy. That'll be fun. Freddy. Freddy Krueger. Oh, no. Okay. All right. You start it off. So uh, Freddy is very similar to, I would say, Pennywise and the Babadook, where he comes after you in a pretty unconventional way, obviously, when you're mm-hmm. asleep. Um, mm-hmm. But, like, the hardest thing would be to just like not sleep right like because that's like the biggest hurdle you come into because he can't hurt you in the real world in well, that's fact, what that's... everyone yeah mm-hmm. that that's actually a big part uh a lot of the people that know of freddy they they're hospitalized or whatever because they just try to stay awake all the time yeah they take like they take pills or whatever damn you're right so freddy freddy krueger would be pretty tough honestly because hmm. You're more delirious and crazy because you're staying awake all the time. But if you fall asleep, he's going to fuck you up. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. And you, I don't know how you would figure out Freddy either. Because 
against spoilers, everyone finds out that the way to beat him is simply to just not be speaking about him, right? Yeah, and just tr- forget about him. Yeah. So it's like, how would you know that? <laughs> yeah. You know? And and also too, like in the most of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, mm-hmm. they f- they find out about Freddy because of somebody they knew died to him. But if oh, you're then the, this is easy. This is well, easy. Then Steve, just, hold, just, on, hold on. Okay. Oh, let me let me paint a different scenario. <clears throat> all right, all right. If you're the first person to encounter Freddy, you're fucked. You don't know the rules. You don't know anything about him. Like, yeah. if you're the girl at the beginning of the first Nightmare on Elm Street movie who's saying she's having weird nightmares, that's it. You're boned. No one else knows the rules of Freddy around you. <laughs> yep. So you're just dead. But if you're like the second in line, then you have a pretty good chance. <laughs> yeah, you have a damn good chance. Especially, I mean, th- this one's easy peasy, honestly, because uh, all, all you got to do is just not have friends. Oh. <laughs> Wait, he won't wouldn't, die. wouldn't he come after you then? Oh, oh. wait, why? Especially? I don't know. I don't have friends. How's he gonna, no, no, how no, am I gonna? No. How am I gonna hear of him if, no, if, no, no. if I don't have a friend to tell me about him? No, 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 no. This is this. This, this, this is what I'm saying. So let me let me mm. re let me repaint the scenario for Paul's smooth brain here. Okay. So in every Nightmare on Elm Street movie, it's a group of friends, right? Yeah. The first person to always die. Always says yeah. that they've been having really weird dreams, and everybody else in the group goes, "Huh, that's weird." Yeah. And then, <clears throat> when the first victim dies, everybody else in the group starts having those dreams. So they start to talk to each other, and they make those connections. Like, oh shit, these are all connected somehow. Mm-hmm. Because now that the first person is dead, they have they know what the fuck they meant by when they said by by when they said bad dreams. If you were alone and you were having bad dreams. You're fucked. No one can help you because then you don't have that group of friends. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what I mean. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah. You're not wrong. But let's say, let's say, hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to see how we can beat this guy because if you, yeah, if you were the first one to found, how would you have found him in the first place? See, that's how what I'm you- saying. Like, he, he just, I'm, I'm going based off of the logic of the first nightmare movie where he just appears he just suddenly starts tormenting the friend i thought it was like someone had told them about him or something like that wasn't it it was always kind of an urban legend in their town oh fred Fred krueger yeah all right he was an all he was a um it was always an urban legend in the town so they did kind of know about him but he does just start randomly appearing. Well, and that's simple. Just don't live in that town. <laughs> also, um, we'd be disqualified because we're not teenagers, but still. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, fuck. Okay. Well, uh, if he was in my dream, I'd fuck him up. <laughs> I thought you were going to say just fuck him. No. <laughs> no. Oh, that's how I'll beat him. Okay, that's how I'll beat him. I okay. have you ever done lucid dreaming? I have done lucid dreaming. Yeah. Okay, then just lucid dream against Freddy, right? If you mm. know you're in a dream, you gotta fuck him up, right? But you're in his realm. <clears throat> but he's in my fucking dream. Suck my balls. Okay. I think I'm it's, pretty sure that's happened before, hasn't it? Isn't where, that the Isn't that the Dream Warriors? Yeah, where they go, this is my world. And yeah. then they, they like fight back against them. Isn't that exactly what happens? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I just well, they have. That. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. But I think, I, I know most of them die. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I forgot how they beat them. I think, I think there's the one where the girl, uh, she uses the souls to rip them apart or something. I don't remember. Like that, yeah, but Dream Warriors is a great movie. That's a good one, but um, I would just do that. Like, I don't know, fucking dream of something. I, what I like? What would I? What would I even dream about? I feel like I don't dream much. Anyways. See, you can, okay? Here's what you do. Ready? Mm-hmm. So you're having a dream, right? <clears throat> yeah. We're fucking and, <laughs> and okay. Uh, <laughs> and Freddy Krueger comes out. You just dream of a Mrs. Krueger, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Oh, Mama Sita," and he's super mm-hmm. distracted. And then you just dream up of like. The Freddy Killer 9000, right? 
Mm -hmm. You shove that right up his ass and you kill him. Like, that's it. That's what I would do. Yeah. I mean, it's your world. You can dream up whatever you want, I guess. I would shove a smaller Freddy up Big Freddy's ass, and then the smaller Freddy would kill him from the inside. Okay. Get this. Get this. What if, what if I have a dream Mm -hmm. and it involves me falling in love with Freddy? Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. I'm writing this down. We, We fall in love. Him and I have a child. <laughs> Looks just like you. <laughs> <laughs> Badly, severely burned or whatever. Mm-hmm. And uh, we we just become a happy family, right? He wouldn't yeah. kill me then, right? He wouldn't kill his his husband. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't think he would. That's that's a great point. So would you just, would you just not ever wake up? Turns out <laughs> I've been in a coma. The, <laughs> the year is twenty ninety. The Paul Coma theory. They're about to. They're about to pl- unplug me. What, what's that one Pokemon theory? I've been in a ther- in a in a coma this whole time. Whole time because he saw the, Ho-Oh, Yeah. Yeah, it's something like that. I, I forgot what it is. Yeah, it's just the Paul Coma theory. And and then you're gonna be like, Freddie, I love you so much. He goes, You need to wake up, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to wake me up. <laughs> the accident wasn't your fault. It just totally spins around. See the perfect ending. He wants me out. You see? Yeah. I love you too much. Wake up. He starts yeah. crying. And you go, he starts I don't crying. Leave you, Freddie. Oh, that's sad. Uh, they should make this into a movie. You see? <laughs> yeah. All right. So there You're we go. welcome, that's, writers. That's we You're welcome. Beat, that's how we would beat Freddie. Just make make him horrifically depressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just make him hurt. Yeah, make him fall in love, and then, and then <laughs> he loves you so much that he wants to let you go. Yeah, this is the <laughs> hardest thing I've ever had to do. He stabs you in your dream. And you wake up yeah. crying. You go, no, take me back, take me back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, what if I pull him out like in the last movie or whatever holy shit dude that would be like the that would be like the way to have a happy ending like the yeah that'd, that'd be the true ending i pull him out yeah. we continue yeah. the dream in real life dude, and it becomes a, oh my god Damn. holy shit and Are then the just... movie would be called nightmare on them on elm street Tr- dreams do come true <laughs> shit shit dude <laughs> shit stamp it stamp it send it oh my god <laughs> Holy fuck, dude! We Fucking just... welcome, writers. God damn! Like, should we million dollar box should office? We, should we delete this and like actually pitch it to studios? Like, just not have this part come out and then. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is too <laughs> priceless. Someone else is gonna come up with it. If I swear, if someone fucking comes up with like a similar plot, I'm gonna go, <laughs> I'm gonna go ape shit. <laughs> okay, so that's that's how we would survive, uh, Freddy Krueger. We just make him fall fit, madly in love with us. Yeah, we do a comedy. Yeah, so a, so in film. terms of a uh, survivability, escapability, whatever, that's an F tier. That's easy. Make <laughs> <a formal. laughs> uh, whatever. Okay, you're, you're next. <laughs> okay, sure. Pinhead. Oh God. How I would mean, you escape from the box? You just wouldn't like the box. There's there's a couple there's a couple entries on this list where I read them and I just go, well, you're just fucked. There's nothing you can do. And Hellraiser is one of them, or Pinhead. Pinhead is one of them. What can you even mm. do against them? Um, you can you can have someone else take your place. <laughs> <laughs> I would just um. Yeah, I don't even know, dude. I would have a kid, and then uh-huh. I would raise that kid to like the age of like fifteen, and then mm-hmm. I would give him, I would give him the box, and then just the doom, him, doom him to that life. So you would make a deal with Pinhead, saying you'll give up your fifteen-year-old. Yeah, sure. Fuck it, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just wouldn't well, become attached to him. I would just name him It. <laughs> you'd just be It. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> what would be your torture? My torture would be having to watch the Hellraiser movies. <laughs> <laughs> you've opened the box you've called for us. I've got the quote. You've no. called. No. 
you've wanted to watch Hellraiser? They just they they they, they chain you up to a TV, eyes wide open. Yeah, <clears throat> and just be like, like no, no, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's like, you will watch Hellraiser four. No. <laughs> 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 it's time to prove you wrong. <laughs> El Racers is a good movie. Fuck you! Never! <laughs> <laughs> when you come out as a Cenobite, are you... <laughs> how would you look? I would, just... would, would you be like a fucking floop from Spy Kids? You'd be like stretched out and shit? With TV <laughs> yeah. In your head? Yeah. That's exactly what I look like. I would like. Instead of skin, I would just have like VHS tape instead of skin. <laughs> you, you don't say a word anymore. It's just like recordings from movies. <laughs> it's just Hellraiser movies specifically. Yeah, just the Hellraiser movies, yeah. That's God. fucking funny. Holy You're hell incarnate. Damn. Okay. Well, I mean, hmm. <sighs> I mean, the way they usually escape these things is like, honestly, I mean, besides in like Hellraiser 2. Where they go into the labyrinth, yeah, and then they, they, I think they kill the doctor with his own tentacle, and then they run away, yeah, before the portal closes. Like besides that, most of the time it's either they like sacrifice someone else, mm -hmm. or they somehow hide. He's just kind of banished, yeah. Like they never like yeah. kill him. Never, yeah. They never really kill him. <clears throat> or beat them or anything like that they just kind of escape live another yeah. day which is what and i'm isn't, saying isn't that what like the next movies are based off anyways like they're like we're back you know yeah because, uh, yeah they yeah. came back to get her or whatever yeah and she does lose eventually she turns into a cenobite the cenobite queen yeah see so it's so. just like there's nothing you can even do like if they if yeah. he wants you you're dead like that's it i mean i guess you can i guess you can turn them into like a human like humans again their old selves is that yeah. that was kind of a, a way they beat them but i don't know <laughs> i mean how the fuck are you gonna do that <laughs> yeah again assuming you don't know anything really about the yeah. world like you're just fucked mm -hmm. yeah some regular joe schmo damn yeah i don't know i guess so I, would, I would lose i would put him in the s tier yeah that's pretty hard i can't think of a way to beat it yeah without like murdering someone <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I guess that would be the yeah that'd be the, like the literal ultimate task. Be like you're you're just so scared of getting torture, you put someone else in, in your stead, right? Yeah, damn, that's, that's hard. I don't know. Damn, that's our tough call. Well, see, for some of these, like some of these, it's kind of like hard to to even showcase. Like, the, okay, for the for the next one, so we agree that Pinhead is S. Yeah, okay. there's just no way. I don't I don't see a way to do it. So for this one too, like Michael Myers, like how the fuck do you survive against that? What do you mean? He's a, just a normal dude. Just fucking stab him in the dick. He's not. He's not just a normal dude. The movies have established that he is anything but a normal dude. Well, no spoilers, dude. I didn't watch Halloween Kills, bro. Whatever, dude. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I just fine. even in like even in the first Halloween when he gets shot off the balcony and he falls <laughs> off. He disappears. He well, oh, man, that's because people are fucking idiots and they don't double tap him. Like, they're actual stupid. You oh, my me? God. That's one of the most frustrating parts of watching that movie is Lori, like, stabs him once and then drops the knife. I'm like, kill him. Just kill him. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that. Michael Myers is the easiest. That This is one of the easiest. Don't I don't give a fuck if people are outraged and start writing in in front of, like, AMC or whatever. Like, God damn. <laughs> dude, look, he's a fucking easy kill, dude. What's he going to do? He stands there all day. He looks menacingly at you, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if you really wanted to get get one of your like gun crazed friends or something, be like, hey man, there's a guy fucking trying to kill me. <laughs> Just hold a stake out, pop him in the head, and if you're still not sure that he's dead, fucking pop him again. Done. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I would throw him in a furnace. Yeah, you could burn his body, you can incinerate him. Just I'm just saying, you got to double tap everything. One, what I learned from like fucking zombie movies and stuff. 
is you have to double tap everything that you think you killed because if not, they're going to come back. Yeah. Especially if you just shoot Michael Myers in the body or something like, yeah, he'll probably come back or you stab him wherever. Yeah. He's probably going to come back. But if you fucking double tap his ass, you know, like what's he going to do? <laughs> he ain't coming back from that. That is true. See, but it makes it difficult because the movies have really inconsistent logic with him where it's like, I wouldn't mind if they just made him like an undead thing like Jason is, but yeah. they don't. They try to make it seem like he's a normal dude. So I do kind of agree with you that he would be pretty fucking easy. But at the same yeah. time, it's like, well, is he immortal or is he not? <laughs> okay. Okay. That, that That's two different like situations. Yeah. One a situation where he is just a normal human that's mm-hmm. been terrorizing you, right? Mm-hmm. Just fucking kill him. Right? Or call the cops. I don't even do they even do they ever call the cops? They do, yeah. They do call the cops and yeah, what the do. cops just go, hey, end up, and then they don't do anything and he like stabs them or something. Yeah, yeah. There's, yeah, see, there's the, a really bad scene in Halloween kills, but I, I won't go into it. Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, but see, that's like one, you have incompetent cops that aren't going to do shit Mm -hmm. to like everyone's just incompetent. Like everyone in Halloween kill or not even just Halloween kills. Excuse me. Everyone in the Halloween (laughs) series are just like double digit IQ. Like they actually don't know what they're doing. (laughs) Right. Yeah. Like just fucking kill the guy or call call the cops. Go to go to an inland city anywhere. They're they're like in the middle of Buck. Buck far nowhere. I forgot yeah, what town they uh, are. Haddonfield, Illinois. Okay, Illinois. Then I mean, honestly, if I was living in Illinois, I'd probably own a gun. So <laughs> just That's there true. you go. If he ever came next to me and near me, I'd get my gun. Get away from me, you sound bad. <laughs> Done. What's if he gonna I do li- with his puny knife? If I lived in Illinois, I'd probably just let him kill me. <laughs> 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 I was drinking water. <laughs> just kidding, I was choked. Just kidding. I was choked. choked. That's fucking funny. <laughs> that was funny. Before, oh, you, before you start typing, how's your fucking gas prices, in California? I'm just kidding. It was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, so, man. so if Michael Myers is a tricky one because if if they're going by the first film's logic, then yeah, just double tap them. Whatever, that's it. Pro- crisis averted. Yes, um, absolutely. <clears throat> but if you're going by like, I don't know, the more recent Michael Myers, it'd be a little bit harder because if he's paranormal, Michael Myers, where he does come back or all that j- jibber jabber, yeah. I would go the Jeeper Creepers route. Um, mm-hmm. uh, the, uh, you you've seen them, right? Yeah. Okay, so Jeeper Jeepers Creepers. Uh, again, spoilers. I'm just gonna say it every time. Uh, <laughs> in the second movie, they beat him, and then there's like an old man sitting sitting at like a on a on a chair at the end of the movie at a barn or whatever, mm-hmm. and he has a gun in hand and and <clears throat> he's just waiting for Jeepers Creepers to wake up again because he has him like impaled on the wall. Yeah, because it, Jeepers Creepers is immortal or whatever. Yeah. yeah, so he has him on the wall. So like every time he wakes up, he just pumps him and then he goes back to back to sleep to to regenerate or whatever mm-hmm. right so i just do the same shit with with these like immortal guys <laughs> i go up to them double tap them to knock them out or whatever dismember them put them in like a box dismember just... <laughs> what you want to dismember this whole, this fucking immortal guy trying to kill you i mean i guess i kind of would yeah yeah, that's true. That would probably be the most effective way to get rid of it. To get yeah, rid dismember of the guy, put him in the box. You wait till they wake up. Double tap again. Yeah, easy peasy. You could Damn. probably even set this up. Like I don't know. I'm sure you can automate like a fucking sensor or something. Pow pow. The jigsaw <laughs> can do it. You can do it, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Damn, we we got this whole shit figured out, man. These fucking villains don't stand a chance against us. Amen. Come okay, so so what would you put? Okay, so let's let's break it up. What would you put human Michael Myers in? Oh, Let's human see. Michael Myers F. Easy F? peasy. Okay. Absolutely. It's it, it, it's as dangerous as a hobo on the street, just saying. All right, Paul, fair enough. So then where would you rank uh supernatural Michael Myers? Uh I'd probably rank him a little higher. Um 
I want to say like, ooh, I want to say B. I want to say B. Okay. He's pretty fair. He, yeah, he's he's pretty dangerous. I yeah. will say he's very dangerous, mm-hmm. but it's not super out of the way. Or mm, I'd say A. You know what? I'd put him at A, just okay. because I'd be lazy to, <laughs> to, sit, <laughs> to sit there and watch him all day uh, as he regenerates or whatever. Yeah. So one day you would just um. And give up and I'd die. Yeah, and then that'd be the end of it, yeah. Yeah, unless I figured out how to like automate it, like I said, but <laughs> that's that's one whole giant step, so Yeah, once you figure out like automation like Factorio style, then it's over for him. Hey man, brother. Alrighty. Um What about you? Where would you rank human Michael Myers? I would probably agree with you. I'd probably put him in F. Um because yeah he he just has a dinky little knife like he has the element of surprise but michael myers can't help but kill everybody around him so you would probably get a heads up before yeah. he comes after you yeah. and if he's just a guy i mean you can kill him with a shovel you know like so i'd probably put him in f or d tier in terms of survivability the mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. supernatural michael myers i would put him in s tier probably with pinhead oh i'm just yes. like of just like it's just so much work to maintain. <laughs> like, <laughs> Lori Strode's had to do it for forty years, and she's fifty. So, uh, oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, so yeah. <clears throat> that was right. Yeah. It would be literally just having a fucking comeback every goddamn yeah. day or whatever. Finish the job. All right. So to wrap things up, let's finish off with the big bad boy of Jason Voorhees. Sure. To, Mr. Jason, to, huh? To finish this up. <clears throat> now this so, is a man with class. He yeah. is straight up just paranormal. Yeah, you can't kill him. <laughs> yep, and uh, just keeps coming back. Even even if even if you dismember him and all that, yep, he'll find a way. Because there there have been movies where he's like, "Hey, I'm back." You know, like they had yeah. blown him up to smithereens, and he just yep. comes back from hell. And it's like, he okay, well, finds great. a fucking way. Yep, just finds a way back. That's that's why to me, he's the ultimate S tier of this list. Like he survived. He literally survived hell. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he survived falling from space to planet Earth. Yep, <laughs> he survived hell. And damn, he even beat Freddy, my boy. No, yeah. my, boy. my husband. Dude, bro, he survived Manhattan. Any if anybody can fucking oh, do that, they're shit. immediately S tier. <laughs> That's true. Damn, damn, that is true. Manhattan's radioactive. I, you know, like all these movies try to establish rules. Like, I know the remake tried to establish that, like, if you look like Jason's mom, then he'll kind of leave you alone, or he won't leave you alone. Like, he'll put you in his like dungeon <laughs> and keep you there yeah mm-hmm. but um like there's certain rules here or there but like honestly like no like there are no rules against jason he just fucking comes at you he yeah is, he is what michael myers wishes he was <laughs> yeah i don't really see a way to beat him i mean he is afraid of water so see, if you wanted to beat him i guess yeah. in that context I have have like a floating island home yeah yeah you ever seen those like homes made out of garbage that float on like rivers and stuff <laughs> yeah let's do that and you're safe all right so um i know friday uh freddy versus jason tried to kind of make that a thing but let me um just really quick here just i'm gonna play a clip of why that wouldn't work screw you paul <laughs> All right, DMCA, there you go. So um, Jason, they try to establish that, but I think that that's stupid as fuck because in literally every single movie, Jason is in the water <laughs> and, he, <laughs> and he does not care. Um, so <sighs> again, I don't think the guy has any weaknesses. Yeah, I did, you, know, you, you, you might be right. I don't. I he don't doesn't know. care if you're afraid of him or not. He sees you no, as he doesn't. meat. He sees you as meat. Just there are plenty him. of yeah no you're right there are plenty of movies where like they have tried to make someone be nice to him mm-hmm. or or say that i'm not afraid of you or be tough and fight back they everyone usually just dies <laughs> you can't beat them 
It reminds me of that scene in, in Jason X where he, Jason first wakes up and the guy goes, guys, Jason just wanted his machete. We're fine. And then he fucking cuts his head off. Yep. He just Jason starts killing everybody. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. And the, that's another movie where like the guy's like, I'm going to fuck him up. Right. And then they go out in space and he starts fighting him in space and they, they uh, become a meteorite headed to earth. And Jason just gets <laughs> He just gets up. He just walks out. He just walks, just walks out. away. Yeah. Or he's just he's just gone or whatever. He's like, all right, well, cool. He fucking survived falling from space. There's so you can do, man. So that that's yeah. why to me, Jason is the ultimate S tier. Like I don't yeah. think he's, I don't think any other horror villain even comes close. Yeah. Like in terms of in terms of that. Yeah, because I mean he's a he's a zombie, so it's like straight up a zombie. Yeah, at, he's a super human strength zombie. <clears throat> Non-stop killing machine. He, at this point, doesn't really have a motive for yeah, why he kills. He doesn't. I, I mean, the, the big motive is, oh, he was bullied as a kid and they drowned him. And they killed Jason's mom, too. And they killed his mom. But it's but like, I'm just like, bro, you need to get help. You need to let that shit go. <laughs> yeah, man. You, you okay? I'll pay for the therapy. <laughs> See, that's when the Baba Duke would come. Like, listen, listen, man, you've been doing this for too long. Oh shit, Baba Duke v Jason movie coming oh, up. Shit, I'm telling you, dude, these movies write themselves. What are the writers See, doing? But Jason would just murder the Baba Duke. He, he wouldn't confront like his demons. He'd just <laughs> fucking try to kill him. Just kill his depression. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, I'm not sad no more. <laughs> <laughs> I have killed sadness. <laughs> <laughs> would that make would that make jason a good guy yeah i guess it kind of would be like oh well i i guess i wasn't really a fan of how you approached it but thanks <laughs> yeah <laughs> damn you good. know what that's funny because jason is kind of the good guy in freddy versus jason too yeah he kind of is yeah hey, See, what the fuck? then he would um he would put his machete into the dirt give us a thumbs up and walk off into the sunset yeah Huh. With, his, with his life's purpose finally fulfilled of killing people's depression. Yeah, absolutely. I just, I really don't think you can escape unless, for whatever reason, he just doesn't want to kill you. No, yeah, there's, there's no way you can. And um, if I saw him, I'd just be like, I'm not even gonna try. I'm just gonna <laughs> lay <laughs> down and let's go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. Um, yeah, um, that's our list of survivability so i mean i i I know that i said this at the beginning but i would put him an s tier what would you put him at oh man i think we have to use the double s for him (laughs) okay he's just unstoppable i don't think you can i really don't okay fair enough i mean hellraiser is pretty damn up there but you can at least escape for a while whereas jason you like you can delay Pinhead for like a couple years. You can delay Jason for like a couple minutes. <laughs> yeah, he he just kills you when he wants to. So yeah. All right, so that's our list. And oh, by the way, it's I think it was canonically proven that he can teleport with the Friday the Thirteenth video game. Oh really? <laughs> he can teleport on the map. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That's so, funny. There you go. Um, Is that game canon? Yeah, I think they consider it to be canon. That's hilarious. Okay, so he he does in fact teleport. Yeah, he okay. can teleport. Yeah. Um, that's one of the powers you have when you're playing as Jason. Well, there you um, go. But anyways, thank you guys so much for listening to this list. We had a ton of fun just talking about spooky shit. Um, this is the last episode of the kind of Halloween season. Ah, uh, it um, is. Yeah. yeah just check so, the date. Damn. So. No matter who you are out there, if you celebrate it or you don't, just have a happy and safe Halloween. And uh, we will catch you guys in the next episode where we will talk all about fucking each other. Yes, absolutely. And of course, if you have any uh, villains or monsters that you would like to hear us talk about, you know, save, save them and uh, put them in the comments and we'll take a look at them and we can review them next year when we come back to this topic. I... Oh, I love Halloween season. It's great. Me too, man. Me too. And I, I'm pretty positive, like through through time, we'll even get, we'll probably get better at organizing and stuff. So we maybe we'll do a little more. Who knows? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I'd love to do more just horror based things because unfortunately we did miss a week, which is why yeah. we only have three episodes. But 
you know, there was some stuff going on that we can't really talk about. Um, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. Um, definitely leave us a comment see what your favorite horror movie villain is. Or if you want to talk about like how you would survive, let us know. Um, Cause we would love to hear those kind of theories, but um, for now, thanks for listening and things will return back to normalcy next week. And um, yeah, thanks for listening and we'll see you guys next time. Yes. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye. Boo. Boo. Mwah. Boo. Spooky. Spooky smooch. Let's hear that audio once again of the girl screaming. All right. Gold. <laughs>